today i'm going to show something interesting in adobe premiere pro suppose you are making videos for youtube and you need to use some asset every single day suppose the subscribe button and again the intro outro or the logo animation you need to use those assets on every single project and again if you want to use music sound effects overlays on different projects you need to import those files every single time when you are making a new project right what we usually do suppose here is a project this is the project a and this is the project b right so if i want to use something from this project suppose i want to use the glitch transition here on this point what we usually do we just select the files that we need to make a copy then we click and drag it and then we place it here right and you can see this project is making a copy of this section right so you cannot share anything directly from one project to another project without any hassle so here you can see it is actually making a copy of the exact files here on this folder too it is not sharing from this project directly right so when you are working on a project and maybe you have opened that project after two or three months and you have noticed that some files are missing you have mistakenly deleted those files that is a nightmare right so today i'm going to show you a process that you can share the assets from different projects very easily in adobe premiere pro there is a process called production if i go here on the file and then if i go new and then you can see here is the option called production you can make a production project in adobe premiere pro and the production project is a project where you are making a main project and you will make different project under that project and you can share different assets from one project to another project very easily let me show you what i mean so here if i close all the projects let me open one of my production project here you can see james prince en dot proset that is a production project under this project i have different project suppose i am just opening this one it will open the project here in adobe premiere pro and from here i can work on this project right so this project is under a production project if i want to open the production i need to go to window and from here i have to click on this production icon right if i click here on this panel you'll see the production panel have been opened and that is my actual production panel here i am working on this project which is how to backup keyboard shortcut that is the project that i have opened again i can open a separate project suppose i want to open this project i can just double click here to open it you can see that project have been opened now i can share different asset within this project very easily and it will not make duplicate copy right so today i'm making a project which is the production tutorial right so i'll go here on this premiere pro course and there i'll make a new project if i name it production then if i click ok it will make a new project right here you can see the production project has been made now i can make a new sequence here i'm just naming it production so that is my sequence right suppose i have worked on this project and now i need to use the subscribe button and now i want to use the logo animation what i can do i can just go here on my asset folder and from here i can double click here on this lower third then i can just click and drag this subscribe button here it will import the subscribe button here on this project and you can see that is not making any local copy here on this project panel again if i want to use my logo animation i can again go here then i can just click and drag my logo animation here you'll see the logo animation is here i have a collection of music that i want to use i can just go here on this music project and from here i can browse the music that i want to use i can click and drag this music here so that i can use it and notice one thing that is not making any copy it will make your project very clean and it will look very professional if you work under a production project so let me show you how you can make your new production and how you can organize different project right so i'm just closing all the projects close production no now if you want to make a new production you need to go here which is file and from here you need to click new and then you need to click production then give it a name i'm just naming it gems then click here to show where you want to make the production folder right i'm just saving it on desktop my production i want to save it here i'm just clicking select folder 
and then click create it will make a production folder on that folder that you have selected right if i go on my desktop you'll see it has made a new folder which is this one my production if i double click here you'll see james here is my production and here is my production project file right james dot prod set that is actually my production file let's get back to adobe premiere pro and from here you will see it will give us a untitled project so that you can just start working from here so if you want to just rename it you can just double click here then you can rename it like project one so that is our project one here for the organization purpose you can make folders i'm just making folders for assets assets okay so here you can see there is a folder called assets and under this assets folder you can make new project suppose i want to save some music so i can just make a project for music then i can click ok it will make a new project under this asset folder which is music if i double click here then the music project has been opened now i can import some music here on this folder so if i go i can grab some musics and then i can just import it here so that is our music project i can use this music project anytime if i want to use the music from this production if you want to make a folder for overlay then you can just right click here then make a project for overlay now click ok then it will make a new project if you double click here then you can go to your overlay folder and from here you can just click and drag some overlay here on this project right so anytime if you want to use some overlay you can just click and drag from this overlay project now let's make a new folder for my actual project that i'll be working right so if i click here on this new folder then i can give it a name projects then okay i can just click and drag this project here on this project folder and from here i can just right click and make a new project which is project 2 project 2 so this is the project 2 if i just double click here i can open the project then i can make a new sequence suppose if i want to make a tutorial about production today i can give a name production then i can click ok it will make a new sequence and there i can import the video and audio files that i want to use suppose i want to use this video so i'm just clicking ok then i can click and drag it here so this is the video file that i'm working with now if i want to use a the music then i can go here on the music folder then i can click and drag any music that i want to use and if i want to use any overlay i can just go to overlay project then i can use the overlays from here right it is not making any copy of this music or overlay here on this project so it will look nicer and cleaner so you can use this process to maintain a structure of your projects and it will look professional right so if i click here on the production and if i go here on this folder i can see that is my main production uh, projects and here the projects you'll see all the projects are here and here you'll see all the assets projects are here so it will look nicer and you can share the assets from one project to another project very easily if you're working under a production project so that is the process that you can follow to make production project in adobe premiere pro if you're working with similar kind of projects every single day suppose i'm making tutorials right i need to share several asset within the project so i can make a production project and then i can make the classes or the tutorials under that production it will save a lot of time and i can organize my assets very easily in adobe premiere pro so if you're wondering how you can share the assets within the project in adobe premiere pro that is the best thing that you can follow that's all about today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere for video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye